So today I want to hit you guys with a question and I want you to really think about this. What is your definition of life? For myself, I've got two definitions. Number one, life is merely a perception of what you choose to see and number two, Life is merely an accumulation of the habits you choose to practice. Now you may be wondering how do somebody's habits and perceptions tie in with hair loss? Firstly, let's think of the word habit. What does a habit define? A habit is something that you practice in repetition until it naturally becomes part of who you are. Unfortunately, we live in a world where many people practice negative habits. Now the thing is with hair loss, I really believe that the reason it affects some guys more than others is because of the negative habits they've accumulated up to that point. So for example, if you're somebody who's developed the habit of only noticing things that you dislike about yourself, then you're never going to notice the good. Because you've repeatedly practiced the habit of thinking negatively about yourself until it's become a habit that you can't let go of. And this is exactly where perception comes into it. Nowadays the art of negative thinking has become such a bad habit amongst people that it's broken the way we perceive ourselves. So many people are insecure always looking in the mirror and able to find a flaw with themselves. Now for example, I know somebody that works in healthcare and they've witnessed many people come in for plastic surgeries. And I kid you not, some of the insecurities that people develop about themselves are insane. For example, I was talking to my friend recently and she was telling me that one person actually came in to get plastic surgery done on their eyelids. That's right, eyelids, because in their perception, their eyelids were too thick. It's crazy, but this is what the wrong perception can do to us. And the crazier thing is, it all starts from the smallest of habits, the smallest of negative habits, until eventually they compound into something huge. And just imagine, that person who wanted plastic surgery done on their eyelids, there is a good chance that they didn't start off with insecurities that extreme. Insecurity is something that relies on you to feed it in order for it to grow. You want to stop your insecurity? Stop feeding it with more negativity. Because all you are doing is empowering it until it's strong enough to take over you. The thing is, if you really want to be able to handle hair loss better, you have to reevaluate your habits and the way you perceive yourself. Think back, if you're someone that's always been able to notice flaws, always nitpicking at the tiniest things you see in the mirror, then that is exactly why hair loss is such a huge obstacle for you. Because all that you know is the habit of putting yourself down, never being able to perceive the good things about yourself, it's a dangerous habit. Now rebuilding is not going to be easy, but I know that it's something that you're capable of. Start afresh. Reevaluate everything that is negative about your life and ensure that you're getting enough positive reinforcement. On this journey, if you've got negative friends who are belittling you at every step, it's time to cut them off. And if you're in the habit of always noticing things you hate about yourself in the mirror, then it's time to fake it until you make it. And what I mean by this, start small. Cut out all of the negative comments and complaints that you feed yourself and stop feeding into the negative of comments that other people feed you as well. Remember that insecurity is something that relies on you to make it stronger, so don't take the bait when you're fed negativity. And next time you wake up and look in that mirror, as much as you'll want to notice the bad things about yourself, I want you to pick out three things that you love about yourself, even if you don't fully believe it straight away. Pick out just three things and I want you to say that shit out loud in the mirror. You can be as polarizing as you want. Damn, I'm pretty. Look at that bald hair. Eventually, practicing this ritual of positive reinforcement, it will have an effect your mind will begin to transition away from that negative perception you made of yourself. And this is because you've taken the time to nourish your mind. Now for myself, my transition of becoming a bald man was a lot less difficult because of the habits I practiced and developed leading up to it. I'd spent the last couple of years before shaving my head working on myself, trying to build my confidence. And I was someone that suffered with a lot of social anxiety, so often enough, my confidence had to be faked. But guess what happened? My mind eventually began to believe in what I was feeding it. And I promise you, so will yours, but I can't be the one to force you to see yourself in a more positive light. That is something that you gotta do on your own. But I 100% believe in you. You've got one life to live, and I want you to make the absolute most of it. This life that we live is nothing more than a compound effect. Our thoughts become things, and ultimately, whether you think you look good or bad because of your hair loss, you're probably right either way. At the end of the day, you are what you think you are. Peace.